Plastic pollution is a problem all around the world, and it's critical to have data to inform solutions to this problem. You can help by becoming a citizen scientist and downloading Debris Tracker to track litter wherever you find it. Debris Tracker is available on iOS and Android. Once you've downloaded the app, just click Start Tracking. You'll see a selection of different lists from our collaborators, researchers, nonprofits, and educators around the world. We even have lists in several other languages. Each list is a customized set of litter items based on the research goals of the organization and where they're working. You can click the info icon to learn more. If you're not sure which list to get started with, we recommend using the NOAA Shoreline Cleanup List. Once you open up the list, you'll see a section of different uh, material types at the top, like plastic, metal, and glass. This is an easy way to scroll between the different sections. So you can click on a section and you'll jump to that part of the list, and then you can click the arrow in the bottom right-hand corner to jump back to the top. I'm gonna click on the plastic section and we'll log this plastic bottle here. So all I have to do to log the bottle is click the add button to log one. I can change the number if there's more than one bottle by clicking the up and down arrows or by clicking directly on the number and then typing in how many there are. I can also add a description by clicking the info icon on the bottom left hand corner. Debris Tracker also has some other features that you can use to help make tracking litter a little bit easier. So this question mark will take you back to the tutorial video on our website if there's any Thing you need answered while you're out in the field tracking. You can also take a photo of your litter items by clicking this camera button. We recommend that you only take a photo at the beginning and at the end of a tracking session. Photos are a lot of data to upload, so you have to have a really good Wi-Fi connection to be able to upload them. By clicking the middle turtle icon, you can log into your account with an email and a password. You can also create an account with SciStarter, a platform that hosts citizen science projects, or with Facebook. This little play pause icon is a way to record your path while you're walking and tracking litter. The path log, I'll turn it on right now. When the path log is on, you'll see that little pause symbol. You can pause it by clicking there and then click play again to turn it back on. The path log is just recording the background of where you're walking. This helps to analyze the litter by knowing not just where the litter was located, but also where it wasn't along the path that you walked. This gear icon allows you to change the GPS accuracy. You can set a low GPS accuracy for research projects and other things where you're concerned that your data is highly accurate. Just click save and that'll be applied. When you try to log something and you have a really low GPS accuracy, sometimes you'll get a notification that tells you you have to wait for improved GPS accuracy. This just means your phone is confused about where in the world you are and all you have to do to fix this is open up your Maps app and refresh your location. A lot of times this will help manually refresh your location and your phone will have better GPS signal so that you can log. We also have an option called Favorites, which is basically where you can create your own section in the app. So I'm gonna click Bottle Cap and click that star there, and then that will get added to my Favorites section. The Favorites is basically a customized top items that you can adapt based on where you're tracking and what types of litter you're seeing. When you're done tracking items, you can go ahead and click this forward arrow this takes you to a map of the items you've collected. You can delete your path log if you want. You can also edit any items that you didn't need to track and delete them. Once you're happy with your data, you can click the submit button. Now you have some options. This submit button will upload to our online database, but you need access to internet or Wi-Fi to submit here. If you don't have access to internet at this time, you can also save your session and go back and access it later when you do have Wi-Fi to upload the data. This is great because you can use the app while tracking in remote areas. You'll just need to make sure that you've opened up the app once to load the list onto your phone. Once you've submitted your data, you can share what you've tracked on social media. Be sure to tag us at Debris Tracker. You can also download your data at debristracker.org. There, you can explore data other citizen scientists have collected around the world. Wherever you're tracking, your data is an important piece of the puzzle in developing solutions to plastic pollution and keeping our oceans clean. Thank you for being part of our citizen science community.